We hear so many stories about chemicals in cancer, it's hard to pick out which products are safe and which aren't. Consider naturally occurring titanium dioxide, known by its chemical formula TiO2. It's the eighth most common compound in the Earth's crust, and one of the most important pigments used in paints, sunscreens, cosmetics, ink, plastics, foods, pharmaceuticals, and more. Titanium dioxide is a marvel that blocks UV rays, enhances texture, and makes life brighter. But Europe is considering a proposal that would label titanium dioxide as a carcinogen, severely restricting the most common uses of this essential compound. We all want to avoid cancer risks, but does titanium dioxide actually cause cancer? Titanium dioxide has been improving products for more than 100 years. Because it is so widely used, it has been extensively researched and reviewed by government agencies around the globe. Studies following over 24,000 workers who manufacture titanium dioxide show no correlation between TiO2 exposure and lung cancer. And these are people who might actually breathe the substance. The only evidence that titanium dioxide could be harmful comes from two studies of rats exposed to extremely high doses of titanium dioxide. In these studies, rats exposed to lower doses showed no evidence of cancer. It's also important to note that rat lungs work differently than human lungs. And studies in other mammals, including mice, hamsters, and pigs, show no evidence of cancer. In fact, many uses of titanium dioxide improve public health. For example, TiO2 replaced dangerous lead compounds in paint and its use in sunscreen is highly effective at blocking the sun's cancer-causing rays. So how many products containing titanium dioxide will you really need to use before putting yourself at risk? 10? 20? Actually, even the highest dosing studies haven't found a level at which titanium dioxide is toxic to humans. You're more at risk of drowning in your sunscreen than getting cancer from it. Don't believe every scary headline you read. At the end of the day, it's the dose that makes the poison.